Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting 11 show. Everton versus Crystal Palace. A must win game for the Toffees. Hopefully, the atmosphere is good at Goodison Park after some promising news this week with the uh, with the takeover. So, hopefully, we're walking out at 10 past 5. Who knows these days what time you walk out? And uh, we're all in good voice celebrating a victory. And I'm going to pick a team that's going to get that victory. So, here we go. In goal, Jordan Pickford, who has uh, had a bit of a strange start of the season. Listen, he hasn't done anything terrible, but he just doesn't seem... Doesn't seem quite himself, so hopefully with um, the the back four I pick in front of him, that'll that'll help him, and everyone will be on the same page. At right back, I'm going for James Garner. A bit of consistency from last week, um, and hopefully you know a week week more of training because he did come in last week at last minute, and he he done all right, done all right for about an hour, and then you could see the tiredness and maybe not fully playing the position all the time, sort of caught up with him. But I think it's either him or Ashley Young, and I'm just I just think that continuity needs to needs to be there before a Patterson comes back or a Seamus comes back, whatever the manager decides. So I'm going for James Garner on the other side. Uh, Michalenko obviously missed last week's game. Uh, again, you need that consistency and trying to build a back four. So he comes back into the side. Um, Ashley Young did all right last week. No no issues with Ashley Young last week, but Michalenko is our starting left back. At, at centre-back, uh, Tarki, um, who again hasn't, hasn't had a great start of the season, but there are reasons he had the back injury. And alongside him, the return of Jared Branthwaite. Uh, he did play 90 minutes last week for the under-21s, and obviously there is a massive leap between the under twenty ones, but I think that was just to prove that he was fit. Listen, they get they get most of their fitness now in the tra training. There's none of this coming back and um, having a game and then having another game. It, they get in, in in the training and they know how fit they are. He obviously had an operation, so it's not a case of and it's not a case of bringing them back slowly either that we've we're seeing with Patterson. Because it was an injury, it's more about the healing process and it, it seems like he's all healed up, ready to go. That's why he played 90 minutes last week and passes and only played an hour. So hopefully he brings back that stability. This, he's better in the air than Michael Keane. He's quicker on the ground than Michael Keane. His football ability is better than Michael Keane. Um, I, I think he's, he's more aggressive than Michael Keane. So he starts this game no matter what and hopefully that puts a smile on everyone's face at quarter to two when the team will be announced. So that is my back four. In midfield, uh, going off the back of what we saw at Leicester, I think we need to have two two more defensive-minded midfielders in there um, who are just going to sit in. Uh, just a guy and a guy, I'm bringing back into the team. Now, the man, he didn't... He hasn't trained loads this week, so the manager might think we'll, we'll leave him on the bench and maybe leave the core in there. But I'm just going because he's the firefighter. He's the one who wants to go and, you know, win the ball back, press. And alongside him, I'm going for Mangala. I thought he did all, all right last week. I thought he was quite very calm. I thought he used the ball quite well. Um, never had to, like, jump in and do anything silly on the ball. When he got it, just good little passes to get us going. So I'm going to go for those two. I just think... With the four that I'm picking ahead of them, we need a solid base to work off. So I'm going to go for those two. On the right, I'm going to go for Jesper Lindstrom. I thought he showed good signs in the last couple of games. I thought he was unlucky to be brought off after an hour last week. Um, but it will have done him good to have had those two games. Another week's worth of training. I want to see us being on the front foot, certainly at home. And I think he's got a little bit more about him than... Jack Harrison, I think he's, his starting position's a lot higher. I think he, he wants to get behind the full-back, in and between the full-back and the centre-back, uh, and create opportunities. I think what's been missing, in, in the, certainly in the last two games he's played, is that finish, whether it be a cross or whether it be a shot on goal. It just hasn't been there. But sometimes that can be the last thing you get back as a footballer. So I'm starting him on the right, and on the other side I'm starting Njai, who again is, is looked, He's looked excellent, hasn't he? Scored the goal last week. And again, last time out at Goodison against Bournemouth, he was absolutely fantastic and he did not deserve to be on the losing side that day. So I think those two players just give us a lot more pace, a lot more directness and a lot more threat than we've had 
in those wide positions before. And in the centre of those two, Dwight McNeil, who's looked a lot more home playing in that position. Uh, he can get on the ball um, in better areas. Of course, his set pieces are always dangerous. And, you know, he does he does work back. He does help out in midfield. But having those three ahead of the, the two behind, I think the two behind have to be a bit more defensive and allow those three to be a bit more of a threat. And ahead of Dwight McNeil, it's going to be Dominic calvin Lewin, who um, has done well for me this season. And listen, if he's fit, he starts game. It's as simple as that. Beto is nowhere near his level. Schmitty, obviously, is not fit. Broge is not fit. Dom starts whether he's in good form or bad form, Dom starts for me because he keeps the shape of the team. And I think that's vitally important. Um, and he, he's a handful for centre-back. So hopefully he gets on the score sheet again this week at home. Um, hopefully we win the game. That's all That's all it's about, isn't it? Uh, but we have got a few more available to us. So that means the squad is... Uh, the bench is deeper as well there's options it's whether we can use those options whether the manager uses those options so that's my 11 to start the game against Crystal Palace let me know your thoughts in the comments who would you go for do you agree do you disagree let me know make sure to give this a link make sure uh, give the link make sure to give this a like Click the link if you want more videos for Toffee TV Premier. That's in the description and it's coming up on the QR code. And make sure you check out the match preview with Baz and Jack as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.